Hey guys, how you doing? It's your friend Jess, and today I'm talking about a battle. Battle. Brush, sponge, what's gonna apply foundation better? We're gonna find out. Bing, bing, bing. First, let me talk about the brushes that I have. I purchased this set of Moda brushes. They're called the Moda Prismatics from Walmart. I got four of the brushes and I think that they were $16.99. I will double check that and reference that below. And this, everybody knows, is a beauty blender, 20 bucks at Sephora. I did, I did try another sponge previously, the Real Techniques one. It was a little bit hard for me. So I feel like this one is a little bit softer, but I haven't really had the opportunity to compare them side by side. Some beauty gurus prefer the sponge. Some beauty gurus prefer to use their hands. Some gurus prefer to use a brush. But what about us new ruse? New beauty people have no idea, right? We all look through a hundred YouTube videos per day to see who's doing what. You know, what is this person using on their face? I'm trying to learn from the best and YouTube is a fantastic forum for it. But there are so, 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 so many beauty experts out there. Beauty experts out there who will just tell you to use either what they're affiliated with or what their preference is. So I'm gonna really do a side-by-side, -side, one side brush, one side sponge, and we're gonna determine together what we think looks smoother. Now to make it fair, I am gonna prime both sides the same. I'm already moisturized. Let's get going. I'm going to go in with the Benefit Professional. I got this in my play box this month. Thank you, Sephora. I'm just gonna go in with this guy. Let's prime the face. All right, we're primed and ready for action. Where's my foundation now? Today I'll be using the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in shade NC20. I am gonna use my finger to dab it on because why not? This is all about the blender right? So just go war paint style. And I am a woman who struggles with a lot of neck issues coming up in a future video, so I always make sure to put like extra extra foundation down here so nothing weird pokes through. Let's get to blending. First let's go with the brush. I will do that on my left side, your right, of my face. Ooh. I'm going light. Am I supposed to buff this a little bit harder? I'm really not sure. But I'm gonna continue to buff. Mm. And just hope and pray to the makeup gods this doesn't dry on my face like this. Blend that out. Don't forget your ears, guys. It's one of the things I have learned over the past year in my foray into the makeup world. All right, I would say left side is good. Moving on to the beauty blender. I have used this before to apply concealer under my eye. I like that it's pointed, so already it's got points for that point. But let's buff. Do you guys make weird faces too when you're doing your makeup? My friend says that you're not real friends until you make weird faces together putting on your makeup, so now we're friends. <laughs> Are we blended? Are we blended? One second. Okay. Both sides blended pretty well in my opinion. The two differences I noticed are obviously with a beauty blender, you're gonna be kind of stamping on your face so it feels like you're pressing the product into your skin, which makes me feel like it's gonna last longer. No science behind that, just my heart. Um, Mm. Where I'm noticing the biggest difference between the two is the blurring effect that I got with the brush over the sponge. I feel as though my pores are less visible on my left compared to my right. If y'all can tell the difference, don't mind my blemish. I'll cover that up later. You be the judge 
of what you think looked a little bit better. There has to be a reason why so many people in the beauty community go for the beauty blender over the brush. I read the instructions that came with that beauty blender to make 100% certain I was not mucking it up or doing anything wrong. I may have gone in a little heavier handed with the beauty blender than the brush. Maybe it's because the brush feels like really soft and kind of like you're almost like you're brushing a horse's mane. Nay. You know, I really can't decide. I guess it really is personal preference. For me, the brush went a little bit faster, so I'll probably do that on a daily, and I'll probably use the beauty blender to still apply my concealer. I do find the smaller brushes for the Moda set I used for contouring on the nose um, and adding like a really sleek contour line on my cheekbone here. I found they were great for that. But I do think in terms of concealer, I felt like I was dragging my whole eyeball off of my face. So I'm gonna stick with Beauty Blender for concealer and I'm gonna stick with brush for foundation. Final thoughts, brush is cuter. It's got a nice mermaid-y holographic effect. Again, who's not into mermaids right now? Link below to my mermaid wing liner video, by the way. Beauty Blender comes in a ton of different colors. They have the summer collection now, which is like a lime green and an orange and then the, a, a brighter pink than this, I believe. Between the two, $16.99 for four brushes, $20 for one Beauty Blender. You be the judge. Leave your comments down below. What do you use? Do you use something different than a beauty blender or a brush? Are you more of a hands-on type of person? Do you have something else completely that you use, like a kitchen sponge or a chicken cutlet or something? Let me know down below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked this video and subscribe so you can watch future videos and reviews uh, from a beauty noob like me so we can be friends talking about beauty together, help each other out, help each other learn and uh, embrace the positivity of beauty together. Bye everybody.